My name is Ryan Priestley. I'm the CEO of Priestley Demolition, and we're in Kingston, Ontario, at the LaSalle Causeway Bastille Bridge. This project is basically to remove the existing bridge so they can open it up for boat or navigation traffic. The overall plan here is to try and save the fixed bridge portion of the bridge, which is basically the roadway of the bridge and all its structure. We're gonna jack it up and we're gonna put it on the east side and on the west side. We're demolishing the counterweight today and we're gonna take down the rest of this whole structure you see behind me here, which is not a rotating portion of the bridge. Today, we have a CAT 374 machine equipped with a hydraulic breaker. We're breaking down concrete counterweight that was counterweight that helped lift the bridge up and down. This, this tender was let by the client and it was a short tender it was only like a five day tender and they wanted to award within three working days and they wanted you to be on site within three working days. We did all that, we put a plan together, we engaged our partners at Intuitive, so they're the engineering firm that's gonna oversee this job. We engaged a partner, Western Mechanical. Western Mechanical is gonna provide all the jacking and the rolling and we've engaged uh, Toronto Dry Dock, which is the barge is gonna come and help lift the bridge. So on one end, we're gonna use an SPMT with a big beam counterweighted off it. And we're gonna use that to pick up one end of the bridge. And we're gonna use the barge to pick up the other end of the bridge. We're gonna float it to the east and we're gonna roll it off on the ground on the east side. The structural element of this bridge being a Bastille bridge, being a lift bridge, it's a little bit different than a lot of bridges we've done in the past. So this is a bit of a learning curve for Priestley as well. We think we've got the plan that's gonna work the best. It's gonna be the safest plan that we can come up with with the shortest amount of time to get the navigation channel open again. This bridge could be open in a matter of a couple of days. the south bridge this member has been compromised so they realized it's time she goes we've spent about a day day and a bit hammering the counterweight the steel workers have re-stressed this member there's a diagonal cable holding to help so majority of the counterweights off engineers have told us that the weight on this end is once a hundred percent of the concrete's off is about 60 ton. We're gonna pull these two side rails that are attached to the swivel point of the bridge and goes back that way, pull these two, and then we'll have the diagonal ones will be the only one holding the bridge. on the barge, putting the rail beams on the barge. They're gonna end up jacking this end and that end of the bridge once they pull the pin on either end and free the bridge. Prior to the pin, we're gonna cut those diagonal braces off. It'll swing down this way. Once that's done, they'll finish jacking up the bridge about five feet, throw the barge in with a rail bridge, 
and then uh, they'll start to roll the bridge going east. I work with Western Mechanical, and we're here with Priestley Demolition to try and get this bridge off the river. We're presently in the process of jacking the bridge up approximately four feet so that we can get the barge underneath. So we're almost there now. We have six inches left to go on the west side, and we'll move back to the east side, and we've got to go up another two feet there. So I expect uh, fall 30, one o'clock today, we'll be ready to start getting the barge in position, and uh, we'll see how the day goes. So here we are this after 12 o'clock on Thursday and we've got the fixed pan portion of the bridge on the east side sitting in the middle of the causeway here. So this is the roadway. So we've now jacked this bridge up. We've floated across using the barge and we used the SPMT with this beam behind me here to jack up this end and we rolled it off the barge onto land. So now we're just we've demobilized the barge. The barge has set sail back to Toronto. Now this channel has been reopen to the marine traffic. I want to say thank you to everyone involved, team here that on the, on the ground working, guys from Western, PDI National Crane, all the crew of PDI, and then we have Intuitive, our engineering partner on this one, and everyone back in our office who helped put this all together. Even though you're not here, we know you're a big part of it, and so thank you very much to everyone. To make this happen is no small feat, but when we set out to do it, we did it, so that's great. So everything went well and no one's hurt and that's the main thing.